Welcome to the channel, Autotrophs and the Mates. In this video we are going to watch the actions of most fearless and spirited insect. The Praying Mantis Praying mantids get their common name from the stance they commonly adopt. The four legs are raised as if in the act of prayer. Mantises are an order Mantodia, of insects that contains over 2,400 species in about 460 genera in 33 families. Mantises are distributed worldwide in temperate and tropical habitats. Mantids are medium to large insects, 10 to 200 m, with large raptorial four legs that are adapted for seizing prey. The four legs have rows of spines along the femur and tibia and these are used to grasp prey rather like closing the blade of a pen knife. Because of its natural sense of solidarity, the insect will attack anything that poses a threat to its well-being. They are highly visual creatures and notice any change in lighter movement. Mantids have a very mobile head that is triangular in shape. They have two very large compound eyes. Fighting is the one thing that praying mantises do right. They are highly aggressive and very capable predators. Typically, they will ambush their prey, grab it with their raptorial arms that are lined with spikes, and start eating it alive by tearing chunks of it with its huge mandibles. This fearsome predator is capable of killing prey three times its size. Striking twice as fast as a blink. Most mantises stalk tempting prey if it strays close enough, and will go further when they are especially hungry. Once within reach, mantises strike rapidly to grasp the prey with their spiked raptorial forelegs. Snakes are thought to take on many insects, sometimes mammals, nobody would have probably thought that they would be intimidated by someone one-third of their size. Yes, that's true, praying mantis, measuring only three to four inches in length, can kill snakes. Although snakes aren't the top item on the praying mantis's menu they do take on snakes whenever there is opportunity. A mantis will grab the snake's mouth and keep it as far as possible. A snake will attempt to coil around mantis as much as possible but to no avail. Once praying mantis gets hold of a snake there's no chance to escape. Once the snake is dead the mantis will begin eating it from the middle of its body. Mantises are formidable yet patient hunters and will never miss a chance of feasting on animals such as this snakes, lizards and mice. Even more, they are the masters of camouflage. While hanging upside down from its four legs mantises leave no chance for its prey to escape once it comes under the firm grip of its mandibles. People have recorded a couple of footages where mantises killing and eating lizards, snakes, mice and many others. And now you are going to watch bug versus bird. Exactly the praying mantis can even catch and prey on small birds, like the hummingbird. Hummingbirds are not equipped with fighting skills and a praying mantis will typically win a fight with this bird. A fight between a praying mantis and hummingbird would depend on many factors including physical size and fighting capabilities. Hummingbirds only have their speed and ability to fly forward, backward, and upside down as defenses. However, praying mantises can listen for predators and dodge at the last second, or they can use their camouflage. A praying mantis would win a fight against a hummingbird. Although it might seem completely counterintuitive to have a bug capable of killing a bird, the fact remains that hummingbirds are ill-suited to killing other creatures. As video evidence suggests, the fight between these creatures would begin with an ambush. The praying mantis would set up near a hummingbird feeder or among flowers and wait for the bird to get close, using its color to blend in. 
Once the hummingbird is close enough, the praying mantis would spring forth, grab it by the head, and start biting into the tiny bird. The strength and weight of the praying mantis would keep the hummingbird grounded and bite it to death, and that process might take a fair amount of time. Unless the hummingbird somehow used its bill to kill the praying mantis at the outset of the fight, it would not win this battle. Many fights in the animal kingdom are decided by size and strength alone, with even the most cunning animals capable of losing to a larger opponent. Here you can see a small fish could be such an easy prey for a mantis. Just grab, pick and eat. Mantises are generalist predators of arthropods. The majority of mantises are ambush predators that only feed upon live prey within their reach. Mantises were considered to have supernatural powers by early civilizations, including ancient Greece, ancient Egypt, and Assyria. Mantises are among the insects most commonly kept as pets. It is not the case that the mantis will win in all the fights. Sometime they have to lost their life too. As you are seeing the fight between a mantis and a giant camel spider. In most situations praying mantis can easily prey on a spider especially if it's small. However, spiders are also dangerous to mantises, especially if the bugs are big. A spider can easily devour a praying mantis, even though it will do it cautiously. A venomous spider can easily immobilize and kills this insect in no time. On the other hand, a praying mantis can also be captured in a web and eaten by spiders. The general thing is that they should be young and not bigger than the spider. The relationship between the mantis and the spider bug is quite weird. Generally, size is a crucial factor in determining who eats who. They eat each other but victory solely lies on situations. As you are seeing now the survivor is giant camel spiders who has torn away the body of praying mantis. Hope you have enjoyed the video. For more informative and interesting videos, subscribe our channel.